And we'll play it here for Norman. Goes to Wallace. McGuire back on the inside as they keep pounding it through the middle. They like their chances through the forwards. McCulloch comes out to Norman. He takes them on, steps. Trying to ghost his way through the line, wrapped up there by Tao Tai and also Justin Paul. Again, they go from dummy half from close range, but this time they can't sneak their way over. Capewell stopped about a half metre short. Yeah, they didn't need that, the Broncos. They needed to give the football to Peter Wallace. Wallace was looking for the, the ball in the end goal and getting another repeat set of six. Look at the possession in the second half. Parramatta have had nothing. Well, this is their first set of six. Kickoff was knocked on by Ben Roberts, and the Broncos have had the ball ever since. Two tries, two penalties, helping them on their way. Parramatta have taken nine minutes to get the ball in their hands in this second half. Really, really moy moy. Real battle there, battle of the froze, if you like, between Maida and moy moy. And they run towards the left-hand side, and they'll play it here through Ben Roberts. Last tackle, and he goes back to Sander. For a settling kick and he takes it towards the corner, can't get it out of play. In the end, Capewell wants to go back into the end goal. He's only had a play at it to pick it up in the field of play and then second guessed himself and put himself under a bit of pressure, but he did well in the end to bring it back. And they take it forward here through Jared Beard. Yeah, that kick should have found the sideline from Chrissy Sand. They've had no position, they need to take the sting out of this game. Don't go set or giving the ball back to Parramatta when they've had the majority of possession in the second half. He's only scored. They played about 25 out from his own line. They just couldn't get out of their own end in that first half. They've done it the easy way through good carries and then penalties off the back end of their set so far. Hannett playing it here. Ten on his own side of halfway. Wallace from inside the 40. The back three were there in a the line waiting for it at their own 20. Parramatta will bring it forward here through Ken Sear. One of many try scorers in that first 40. Nathan Smith got them going in the 10th minute. Just Paul got across the line, so did Sando, CEO, Luke Burt also scored. And here he is, Luke Burt, playing it on his own side of halfway. As Boy Boy carries it forward again. Puts that forearm up high above the ball and jams into the chest there of Fida. Cully did well there. He wraps up Ben Roberts. Comes back. To Luke Burt, do we get a ball playing there at first receiver? Hindmarsh keeps the line to Tau Tine. He'll go to dummy half, Hindmarsh. The Sando on the last, who chips it over the top. What a great kick. Capewell picks it up. And they have him wrapped up 10 out from his own line. Yeah, I think he had his time over again, Chrissy Sando. He needed to be doing better on the last play than that. That's just handing possession over cheaply. Been a real shift in attitude with the way that the Broncos are defending to start the second half. Is Tio to play it? Well, he lost it, but they're going to say he had some help. Got three penalties there. Three penalties in the opening 11 minutes of the second half. Penalty count now 7-4 in favour of the Broncos. You can see there just the knee of Nathan Smith. He was crowding Tio as he was trying to play the ball. Loose. And as a result, here they come again. To try number three. And the second period, a seven receiver is back out there and he'll play it 40 away from the Parramatta line. Drag themselves back within 12. Now Gillette playing it just outside the 30. Ben Hunt is out there, heading to dummy half. Wire taking it forward and running over the top of Nathan Smith. A fast play, the ball has them coming down the middle of the field through Wallace. He runs towards the tour and also Hindmarsh, who says he lost the ball there. Wallace disagrees and so do the referees. Hunt to Norman. Short ball there for Fire Day. There's numbers there in the tackle. They certainly needed them. Roberts was there and so was Morgan. Last play here for Brisbane. He's back. Norman rubbering an awkward one. Wallace coming through trying to rattle Jake Mullaney. He did well to hang on to the ball because he took quite a shot. Yeah, well done for the young fullback. Big set of six here for Parramatta. They need good yardage. The Broncos are really revving up off their line. The Broncos, when they've got the football, they're running with power and they're running with intent. Something was missing 
in loads in the first half. Now a good ball from Rennie Matua. What a game he's having. He was instrumental in building that big lead and helping to do so. Paulo was almost away as a result of his pass. The kick. Long run this time. Lachlan Miranda getting to it. Size things up before he came off the right foot and ran straight towards Hindmarsh and also to Lima Tauta. Take it forward. It's Tio tackled by the same combination. Tau tied downstairs. High marsh over the top. And high marsh makes it a hat trick of tackles. The opening three players of this set. Holding everyone off them. Here's Alex Quinn. In the centres tonight, this depleted back line that the Broncos have so many players out of action. Still some weeks away from getting some of them back. Jack Reed and Dale Copley both recovering from fractured legs and now the kick behind the air from Corey Norman Mulaney standing underneath it goes to the air to make sure they can't tackle him drag him back into the field of play once he got to the ground they almost did that and again he's done very well under great pressure keeping in the field of play for Parramatta now Matua he's a man reborn and he's away again Friday grabs him from behind but what a game Renny Matua has had so far outstanding Renny Matua that's a tough carry, and one that was needed for Parramatta. Here's Luke Bird getting to dummy half and trying to use his footwork to keep the roll going. Stopped there by Alex Glenn. And I'll take it down the short side. Roberts gives it to Matt Ryan, who's out there now. He'll play it on the last 35 away from the Broncos line. It goes across to Sando. Up she goes. Some pressure here. The men out wide coming across. Beal somehow made the catch. He had Paulo, was it? Flashing in front of his eyes as the ball came down and he was able to somehow reel it in. And now Tio brings it back to the 40. Great effort by Jared Beal. Great effort. Petro putting his hand up again. We're almost back at the halfway line on three plays. Here's Wallace going out the back, giving it to Norman. He's combined better in the second half as Maguire. Takes it inside the 40. Now Hunt. Play number five. Comes out the back to Norman. Gives it here to Gillette, who under pressure dumps it off. And luckily, Norman wins the race to the ball with Matt Ryan almost getting there for Parramatta. They've got one more, and Wallace goes to the air again. More pressure here on Mullaney. He's able to make a catch and an easier one this time than get away from Maranta, who takes him into touch. Did he? No. The touch judge said he was able to stay in and could only have been by a millimetre. Well, wow. the fans here didn't like it. I think it was a correct call out. There's Fui carrying the ball forward. Oh, Ben Hunt trying to meet him head on. He comes back again after reeling out of the tackle. Courageous stuff from Hunt. But he's going on the line now. Sando from inside the 40. With only Capewell back there on his own, the wing is still up in the line. Had the kick been a friendly one for Chris Sando, there was a real chance there of a 40-20. They still have the Broncos, though, making the long run back inside their own 20. There's only a couple of players back there on side, and one of them is Jared Beale, who takes it for a gain of about three metres. Well, the game is lifted in intensity, and they realise the importance of the next points in this match. It's so important, the next points. Here's Wallace. Comes through Norman, he goes wider still to Alex Glenn. Criticised by the coaching staff for being too lateral last week. A sign of it right there. It's OK to go wide when you're ready for a shift and there's a chance on the edge, but there was nothing doing there for Glenn. They burn a tackle to bring it back to the middle of the field, then the kick from Norman. Picks out Mullaney on the full. And he'll bring it back from his own 10. Bird is back there with him. He runs out towards him. And he's nabbed in a good chase across the paddock. Getting up there was Ben Tio to wrap up the fullback just outside the Parramatta 20. Yeah, great kick chase there by the Broncos. If Tio doesn't push up with Sam Fido, Mullaney, he's on the counter attack straight away. Carry it forward through Ken Seo. They go through Roberts from dummy half. Got away from Hunt's attempted at tackle. Fended away, and he goes into the backfield. My, my in support. Roberts saw him and didn't give him a chance. 
He'd have been something to stop from that sort of range, no matter who was chasing him. Amateur on the left edge, keeping it alive. Paulo showing it. Runs behind Manor. Gives it to Sando. He gives it to Philly. Philly, Philly, they can't stop him this time. He said, why did you give it to me the first time around? Ah, good work there by the big fella. Big Fooey. I remember him scoring a, a try in a grand final a couple of years ago against the Melbourne Storm. Where he just shrugged off defender after defender. And here he is pushing up in support. He would have backed himself from, from there, Big Fooey. But Parramatta, they haven't gone into their shell after conceding two tries in the second half, keeping the ball alive. Wonderful ball over the top from Paulo on to Sando and Fui just hitting a hole. Petro doing his best to stop him. Got good skills, Joseph Paulo. And no look pass there from Chrissy Sando and they've hit back. They needed to be next to score Parramatta. They need to take some energy out of this Bronco side. Well, a new deal. Oh, God! Sign off on it just yet, but it's agreed upon the next couple of years for Fui Fui Moi Moi. At the back of the Roberts run. He was going to get a great chance to score. He did eventually. And as you said, Laurie, one of the Broncos who scored next. Boy, it was going to be hard to stop him from that point on. Still plenty of time though, 20 minutes plus remaining in this game, despite Parramatta scoring here. Rupert has been had some easy attempts here tonight. And build on his goal-kicking record from close range once again and build the lead at 36 to 18. Look at them. They've been so I feel happier there. They've they been will doing feel it tough there. this season in 2012, but they're saying tonight, where has this been? Melbourne last week in a tremendous defensive effort in which the Storm had more than 50 tackles inside the Parramatta 20. And then tonight, they have turned it on with the ball in their hands against a defensive line of times which has taken on the appearance of Swiss cheese. Roberts went through the line with alarming ease once again in that last set of six from his own end. Here's Paulo, they keep it alive again. And now Hindmarsh shrugging away from a tackle. Hunt was able to stay with him and drag him to ground. And Moy Moy it is, the try scorer. Bouncing off the tackle there of Gillette, coming towards Hunt. Seven receiver has to wrap him up around the legs. And on three plays, they've brought it back almost to the halfway line. Some massive metres for Parramatta here tonight. Manor playing it. Nice pass. Robert Hindmarsh did well on Limbo out of the way of it. He almost wore a Steeden for a hearing aid. And now Morgan plays it just outside the 30. Field position off the back. A set of six off a kickoff. And now Sando's kick when it was a, a rushed one because the pass, the delivery to him was a poor one. And as a result, he could have put it in the air or done a lot more with it than he eventually did. Yeah, they weren't that impressive in that set of six. The Brisbane Broncos defending. They've got to find some energy somewhere. They're starting to walk. They're in a bunch. They're in a flat line. There's no shape for them to attack. Just wondering whether how much that took out of them. That four point of the Fui. Came with a rush early, didn't they? With the two tries in the opening five minutes of this second half. They've composed themselves and now Capel. Gives it on to Teo. There's a handful here for Morgan. He's able to wrap him up five metres into Parramatta territory. One play left. He'll feed it back for Wallace. And a lot to go their way, despite there being plenty of time still on the clock. The Broncos need things to happen. This kick might help them. Mullaney under pressure. Wrapped up there in a good chase. Getting up in his face was Matt Gillette. And they forced a goal line dropout. Well, a good way to find out whether they've got energy is when you kick the football. And who's down there to chase it? They've got numbers down there. They've tackled Mullaney in the in goal. So they get a repeat set of six. 